welcome back and welcome to another book versus movie video but it's another one of these book versus tv series so it's still the same concept but we're talking about a whole tv series as you will have seen from the thumbnail today i am going to be talking about mrs fletcher which is by tom perotta perotta not sure how to pronounce that one but this was made into a tv series back in november for hbo and so i saw a preview for the tv series when i was at the cinema and um liked the look of it so sought out the book i listened to the audiobook of this one and then watched the tv series um i love talking about book versus movie on this channel i have a whole playlist which i will leave up above here because if you are new here as well as being passionate about books i also love movies and particularly movie adaptations of books so i make movie reviews here on a sunday um i have oscars week videos as well as my book versus movie videos but let's talk about this book versus the tv series um just as a bit of a caveat to begin the video with i was not the biggest fan of this book it is not the most memorable book for me i think that the audiobook was done really well because it was one of these that had a full cast and this book jumps around between mrs fletcher or eve um her son brendan we have a little bit of narrative from amanda and there's another character called julian um we also have um subplots going on with um people who are in eve's class that she takes once her son goes off to university or college um so yeah so the book itself I was not a massive fan of. I just didn't find it very memorable. I saw the trailer for the TV show. I thought it was going to be a little bit of a journey of um, sort of sexual self-discovery as well as personal self-discovery for this single mom once her kid goes off to uni. Um, and I felt that the book kind of didn't quite make it there for me. Whereas the TV series, I thought really did live up to that expectation and I know that I'm talking about my expectation of the TV show slightly more than the book because I was attracted to the book because of a preview of the TV show that I saw um, but I was really hoping for a lot more kind of self-contemplation in a positive way and in a sex positive way one of the things I think that the book does really well is that it has a diverse cast of characters and it is generally a sex positive book. Um, it also tackles um, the issue of consent and the issue of expectations of Eve and Brendan um, of what will happen to both of them um, when they when he goes off to college so she has certain expectations of how it's going to be and he has certain expectations of how it's going to be and in the book i just felt like rather than being a journey of self-discovery and a, oh i can do all of these things now my son's out the house i just felt like she was a little bit whiny a little bit like expecting stuff to come to her rather than making changes herself um, and the same with him. He went off to university college and expected it to be a certain way. And when that didn't happen for him, he was just like, oh. Um, whereas I wanted to see him do more about it and actually think about the consequences of his actions and think about taking some action about what was going wrong for him. I think that the tv series did a much better job of this i feel like the the self-discovery that both of those characters go through in the tv series was really interesting and really watchable i did find myself wanting to watch the next episode whereas coming back to this one i didn't necessarily find myself going oh i have to go back to my audiobook i have to find i have to find out what's going on uh, what's going to happen next um i also felt a little bit like the book was almost trying to do too much at once it already had this real diverse cast of characters and it was like it was trying to give every single one of them their own storyline and there just wasn't the space in the book to do it for a book that's called mrs fletcher i feel like we didn't 
really dive deep into Mrs. Fletcher and who she was, whereas I feel like the TV series did that. Um, I feel like it was trying to get to all the characters and really fully explore all the characters there in what is not a very long book. This is the large print version and it's not that thick. Um, yeah, so this is the large print version and it's just shy of 500 pages. And we know the large print version is always a little bit longer anyway because it's large print. But the audiobook I think was only like just shy of 10 hours. And we just didn't have the room to explore every single character. And so everybody's storyline felt a little bit rushed. Whereas I feel like they did a good job of kind of just dipping into the other characters lives in the TV show and making the main character, Eve, Mrs. Fletcher and our like subplot, Brendan's subplot, which again, tackles, you know, diverse characters and the issue of consent and the issue of expectations versus reality really well in the TV show, in the book, I felt like a lot of it was kind of mentioned but glossed over. And then Mrs. Fletcher's sexual awakening and her journey of um, sexual self-discovery, again, I felt like we got into it a little bit in the book, but in the TV show, we really kind of explored it fully. In the book, we know that she's got a little bit of... Um, a porn addiction, a slight porn addiction. Whereas in the show, every single episode features her engaging in with pornography in some way, even if it's just, you know, showing it at the beginning or showing it just as she's going to bed. Whereas I feel like it's mentioned in the book and then, you know, a few chapters later, oh yeah, I've got this addiction to porn, but we haven't seen it come through. Um, and so her kind of sexual discovery, I feel like was handled much better in the TV show than it was in the book. So I think in this case, I definitely do prefer the TV show. It's definitely not something that's groundbreaking to me, but I think it is addressing a lot of the issues that um, we as women face nowadays and also students going away to college and university. It really does kind of touch on a little bit of everything. It's not something that I'm like, oh, you must rush out and go and watch it. Um, but if you said to me, should I read the book or should I watch the show? I would say to you, yeah, put this down, go and watch the show. I think you get more out of it. Um, and it's seven episodes long and each of those episodes is just shy of half an hour. So it's a quicker watch than listening to the audiobook or reading the book. I also... Obviously, this is completely spoiler free, but I also want to say that the ending of this book felt like he was on a deadline. He got to the end and he needed to wrap it up. And so he thought, what well, we'll wrap this up neatly. Bish bash bosh, wrapped up neatly, on we go with our lives. Whereas I feel like the ending of the show was obviously left open with the possibility of revisiting it in a second series. But I feel like it was also... A much more satisfying ending because it was a slightly more open ending. I love a neat ending, really really do love a neat ending, love an epilogue and this one definitely had a bit of an epilogue. However, the ending of this one just felt too rushed for me and kind of like linked in with the rest of the book feeling a little bit rushed and so the TV show kind of acknowledged that we're not going to get to an ending within just seven episodes here. We're just going to leave it at that and you know if we don't revisit it, you can kind of think your own thoughts about what happens with Mrs. Fletcher. Um, but yeah, I think definitely in this case, I would recommend the TV show over the book. The book itself would not be a recommendation of mine. It's not very memorable. There's not many memorable parts in it. Like, you know, I finished it yesterday and I couldn't tell you an awful lot about, you know, some of the subplots and some of the non-main characters and, and their names and their histories. Um, and I think that, yeah, it comes off of maybe just being a little bit brushed, um, but it wouldn't deter me from picking up something by this author again, because I know he has a couple of other book to movie adaptations out there. So yes. Um, I will have more book versus movie videos coming out 
for you very soon. Um, so make sure you are subscribed so that those land in your subscription feed. If you have any requests for book to movie adaptations you would like to hear my thoughts on, I am more than happy to go away and read the book and watch the movie or watch the show. Um, I do have some more in the pipeline, so they are going to be coming up. Um, there's lots of adaptations coming out this year, so you've got lots of those to look forward to. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments in general, do you prefer the book or the movie? in general we know that there are massive exceptions to the rule but in general what do you prefer thank you so much for watching i will be back with another video soon so i will see you then bye